Hello guys, so today you are gonna learn about the mechanism of action of strychnine and poisoning. So before learning that, I would like to tell you a few things that is AHMC means anterior horn motor cell. This anterior horn motor cell is present in the spinal cord. See if this is the spinal cord. If you cut it, you are gonna see posterior horn and the anterior horn. So this anterior horn motor cell which is excitatory okay this is excitatory in nature now glycine so glycine it is an inhibitory neurotransmitter means any action it will inhibit it so that is also it is because of that it is known as inhibitory neurotransmitter glycine receptor so glycine receptor it is an ligand glitter chloride channel receptor remember these three okay so now let's get into the video so first in strychnine poisoning if you see this is the glycine receptor and if you see the glycine receptor i hope you guys are seeing so this is the binding site for the glycine and this is the binding site for the strychnine so i am going to so show you in two actions that is one is what is the normal action of this glycine receptor and the glycine and another one is how if strychnine comes how this normal action is changed into abnormal i will show you this so now in the glycine receptor so now remember think that there is no strychnine okay strychnine is not there now so now the binding site for the glycine is this so now the gly glycine will come and bind to this receptor at this site so now because of this see here glycine is binded so this receptor i told you it is a ligand uh, ligand gated chloride ion channel so what will happen is this channel will open so chloride channel will open and there is a flow of chloride chloride outside and because of this hyperpolarization occurs hyperpolarization occurs in the post synaptic membrane and because of this causes inhibition of the anterior horn motor nerve cell so uh, inhibition of the anterior horn motor nerve cell will cause and because of this uh, inhibition suppression of the excitement i told you this is excitatory so inhibition of this is occurring so because of the this there is suppression of the excitement and because of this suppression of the excitement there is a decrease in the muscular activities means muscular activities are under the control means within the normal limit so now you can control your muscular activities because of this glycine which is inhibiting ahmc you can control your muscular activities so this is the normal mechanism so now we'll see how this receptor will act when the strychnine bind to this side so now here the strychnine was binded to this area so because of this the receptor uh, this site was altered so that glycine cannot bind to this site so glycine is unable unable to bind to this receptor so because of this uh, strychnine acts so this is a ligand gated chloride because of this strychnine was binded to this this site so now this channel is not getting activated means chlorine are not coming outside hyperpolarization does not occur so because of this there is no inhibition of the ahmc because of this inhibition is not occurring so this is the excitatory so excitation will occur means violent muscular contractions will occur which causes convulsions so this is the effects of stitching so this is the overall flow chart i hope you guys understood it